Hello my soccer universe to part 11. I'm gonna do 11 with the hands. I take my hints by Ronaldo. Part 11. As he did when he celebrated I think 15 goals in the Champions League or say something like that. Anyway, uh, we are looking at group K. Uh, just a caveat, I'm shooting now parts 10 to 12 on a Sunday. Um, Back to back to back to back and the kids are playing in the room uh, next door and they are loud so just that you know what's have happening there if they are killing themselves they're not but you know it sometimes might sound like it um, what am I wearing I'm wearing Portugal because we have a Portuguese team in there I decided to go with that one uh, it's it's an interesting group especially that the top team there is more or less eliminated as far as I know now. Uh, and this top team is Bejiktas, uh, who are equipped by Adidas. I'm still a little bit, when I hear Bejiktas, I'm still a little jolt because last year Lask should have eliminated them from the Europa League of playoffs. But you know, now we're playing Europa League. Uh, it's a little bit water under, under the bridge. This Bejiktas home jersey takes, of course, uh, some inspiration from nine, from an Adidas template from 93-94, somewhere there, uh, you know, where we had the three stripes going up and down. Um, and I think this is the only team that I know has exactly this version. I was actually surprised that we didn't see this at the World Cup. This would, for instance, work for Sweden or something like that. Um, in reality, I think Bayern Munich had a jersey that was similar in back in the, back in the day. White with two, you know, it is made of black stripes, but it's black and gray. It looks black and gray. Um, it looks definitely interesting. Uh, also note that the sponsor is the red, just it reflects kind of the red from the Turkish um, flag in the crest. So I actually do like that one. I wish that Besiktas would play in striped jerseys because I think that looks best on them. But other than that, I think it's a pretty cool uh, jersey as, as a one-off. And I think eight stars is appropriate. The away jersey is black and I think is, a, is another template from Adidas. Uh, black with uh, you know stealth stripes. The, I'm glad that they decided to keep the crest full color because it actually fits quite nicely. And also note how the sponsor uh, Vodafone the logo has now a red inside, so you, uh, a red drop instead of the white, which really makes sense here and adds a little special to that. Not so sh sold on this uh, pseudo camouflage look. But it's a decent enough jersey. I actually think, despite it being a template, this actually looks good and stays well within the, what the club's uh, colors are. I think seven stars is appropriate here. The third jersey a, is a little bit of a different uh, thing, animal, I, I want to say. Because uh, what's the contrast to the home jersey? It is kind of an offish white gray with two shades of gray. Uh, that I think is a little bit weird uh, and as I said it doesn't really differentiate itself from the home jersey. It actually looks definitely not better and I don't find a reason for it and for that yeah four stars only. <laughs> Okay, let's get to the Portuguese team, Braga, who are equipped by Hummel, and I really have to say, um, this is what an Arsenal shirt would look like if Hummel was the supplier. Um, it is red, it actually has some stripes in there, which I'm not sure makes this shirt better uh, or not, but I really like the sleeves and then with the chevrons on there. If Puma would have done something like that, I think this would have been much more of an Irish answer, but they always tried to mess with the sleeves somehow. Um, just a little branding, that's all you need to do. Uh, as for Braga, I think this is a pretty cool look. Again, the shadow stripes, I'm not sure. The sponsor also is a little bit, you know, with the orange that we don't need, but on the other side, it actually fits with the crown. Um, it's a decent jersey. 
I give this seven stars. The away jersey is more or less the Denmark away jersey in many regards. Or oh, is it? No, it's not. Uh, but I've seen this template. I think with Osasuna, the where it was in two tone uh, mint color stuff. Um, but you know, since it's white here, the only thing is the here the diamond uh, on the base of the collar. That is a little bit weird. Uh, the sponsor. It's kind of. It's all right as an away jersey. Don't 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 get me wrong. Uh, but it kind of leaves me cold. Uh, it seems to be your average uh, soccer jersey. There's not, there's no, 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 nothing really special or distinctive to it for that. Five stars. Uh, everything but uh, dull is, of course, the third jersey. Um, this one. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. I almost say it defies grading. Um, it looks like a Roman soldier's uniform with this, but then also this uh, stylized, uh, you know, abs and so on on there. There is something about it. I mean, the color is not my color, but from what they want to achieve, it's really pretty cool. Just lose the sponsor. Do you see how the Hummel and the Braga crest are so nicely put within these uh, bands here? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the red, you know, it really looks like an armor on top. There is something really nice about this one, but it's also a little bit too much comic book. Um, I wish I didn't have to grade this one. Uh, because you either love it or hate it. It's similar to... You know these jerseys here that uh, that are in Spain. Uh, although this is a better look, it's a strong look. It's an intimidating look. Um, can I just not grade this? No, no. You're looking at this video for a great grade for me. I am honestly not knowing whether I love it or I hate it. I don't want to give it an average uh, grade either. This has to be on the extremes somewhere. Ah, la, 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 la. I love the idea. I love it. Something different. Yeah. I actually want to give this... I'm going to give this eight stars. It is just... It's beyond anything that I've seen. But I love... It has this sort of antique look to it. Uh, it's really cool. <laughs> I think I'm falling more on the love it side. Uh, it's something different for once. Uh, definitely not something different is what Wolves is dishing up with the home jersey. We just saw this in Bajiktas, the um, uh, third jersey. It's the same template. Uh, the one thing that saves it here is that Wolves are actually uh, have this goldenish orange. It actually looks cool. The sponsor is an eyesore. It's I think a lot smaller in the Europa League. But uh, it definitely doesn't make it look better. On the other side, you know, since it's black on this orange, it doesn't bother me, but it's it's just too much there. Uh, again, too much Chinese le lettering. I never was a fan of the wolf's crest. I know I understand it's wolves, but I don't, it's too stylish to me. For me, English crests are typically a lot more elaborate. There is some sort of heraldry to it that I'm missing in the wolf's crest. But I have to say, it's... It looks better in game. I gave it in the Premier League jersey with five stars. I actually uh, think when I see it, it looks much better, and for that, I give it six. Um, now, uh, regrade, of course. The away jersey, though, uh, I stick with it. I love this one. The black with the uh, well, uh, slanted pinstripe, similar to what we saw in part uh, 10 with Wolfsburg. That I really like. And even the sponsor cannot ruin this one. This is a really cool, cool, cool look. Eight stars. And the Europa League also dished up a third jersey, which I don't quite get. It was worn away to Slovan in green. This is a Mexico jersey. Honestly, if Mexico would play in some, something like this, no one would complain. Uh, there is some sort of patterning in there. You see, the, you know, it's green and they have a dark green stripe that uh, fades over. Uh, that I find curious and the red. It has nothing to do with wolves. As a Mexico jersey, this would be uh, close to perfection. I, I, I would say as a Wolves jersey, completely fails to me. Um, I'm gonna give it three stars uh, just because I don't find it. I don't find it doing anything. It's not a bad jersey per se, but it's also not the greatest one. 
And with that one, we can also slide right into slow one because it's on the same picture. Just move it over. I really had a hard time finding slow one uh, pictures. I only have the match pictures. Slow one at home is playing in white with light blue. I mean, it's a it's almost your Slovakia jersey uh, because even the Slovak crest is uh, very much uh, taken from the Slovakian crest. Um, the gold Adidas, I'm not quite sure why it's there. It's a standard Adidas jersey, uh, just the Slovak crest on it and the, in the club's colors with the um, white and the light blue. Nothing really bad, nothing re really good. It's your average five-star jersey. Um, I have to say the away jersey I like a little bit better because it yeah, had dark blue with light blue. It reminds me of Malmö, to be honest. Uh, and then the golden sponsor on there. So there's a little bit more cohesiveness to it and I like how the crest pops on it. Uh, again, nothing really special, but I like it just a tad better. And I give it six stars for that one. Okay, that ends... Uh, part 11. Let me know which jerseys you liked in here, uh, especially the Braga third jersey. I'm interested in your opinion. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Drop a comment below to let me know which jerseys you liked in there, whether you agree or disagree with me, and I will talk to you soon. You're almost done. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.